All right, we're here in RM Sotheby's in the Upper East Side of Manhattan, checking out the Aston Martin 1965 DB5. This is the car that James Bond, AKA Sean Connery, drove in the classic Goldfinger film. They made four original movie cars, three of which survive today. This is one of the three. The DB5s first came to prominence in the Goldfinger movie in 1964, and then Thunderball came out with the other DB5, same cars back and forth, slightly different gadgets, and that was really the first example of product placement in mainstream film. To this day, that franchise is still using Aston Martin, still using the DB5, so these are as important as they were back in the 60s. So there are 13 fully functional gadgets on this car, ranging from the rotating number plates, which have three different plates back and forth, then we have the 30 caliber machine guns, which pop in and out. Whenever you want to fire something up forward, you flip your switch, hit the button, and take care of business. Extending hydraulic rams to push your adversaries out of the way. And then further back, we've got a couple more goodies. So to pop anybody's tires behind you, we've got nails that'll drop right out the back on command, just like that. And then we've got the usual things of smoke screen for camouflage, oil slick to get them out of the way, and bulletproof shield. Very cool. So the driver's seat here is really, you know, the command center for all your gadgets. We've got our radar sensor, we've got the antenna spinning away in the wing mirror. Over here we've got our very futuristic uh, 1960s cell phone back to headquarters. And then in the center console here we have all of our buttons ready to go for all of our weapons. And of course the crowd pleaser, the ejector seat. Ejector seat, you're joking. I never joke about my work, 007. So what's the future of this car? Where is this going to go? So it's my hope that this car, someone buys it and continues to put it on display. You know, it's such a culturally significant item that I think it could go into a museum, it could go to an Aston collector's place, it could go to a person that just loves James Bond and drive it around. So it's my hope that, you know, we exceed all expectations for it and someone drives the wheels off of it.